So the, basically the problem was with the power supply and uh, many monitors still have this kind of power supplies which is integrated in them in them not like uh, external monitors like this one is a new Dell one new 24p SP 24 it uh, comes with the external power brick you can see right here so they do not have this power board inside them so the problem was that uh, my monitor was uh, switching off when we try to play some source on it it uh, normally turn, turns on but uh, whenever we, whenever we try to play some source on it or we just uh, let it run for a while it goes off after few minutes and whenever we try to play some source it goes off within few seconds so what we found that the ic you can see here it's top 258 pn so the problem with is with this ic actually the uh, this ic is trying to protect the circuit so it uh, cuts off the power of the power board so we do not burn the circuit board so we just replace this ic with the new one and the problem is solved and you can easily find this ic if you're in delhi you can easily find this in many places like motinagar or many other places and uh, it only costs around 80 to 100 rupees for a piece so it could be a cheap diy fix for your monitor and i've seen many cases in which uh, the IC uh, there is a fault in this IC and uh, if you go to any other repair shop they just replace this power board because they don't even test these boards that they are not working or when they just uh, replace them for yourself so it for replacing this power board it normally cost around uh, it uh, depends on the location where you are around you have to spend around 500 to 1000 rupees for a replacement for this board but uh, if you if you want to have this board then it must be old so it's not worth it to buy the new board for your monitor because it's it's an old monitor and usually you get it's a uh, old stuff so it's 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 not worth to replace the board so you can do a replacement of this IC and it's easily available on it, it's not available online so don't even try to find out I also did that but I couldn't so I bought from my local shop near Motinaga and I found this and I got it for 80 rupees and I just replaced this IC and it worked so I will give you some shots of how it was not working and how it's it's now working so it's it's easy stuff and please make sure that if you are uh, opening your monitor please refer a manual or at least see any other disassembly because there are few screws which are hidden in the Dell monitors and that screw is actually behind the Dell logo behind the monitor so uh, in my case, I have, I was trying to tear it apart, but I couldn't and I found out there was a screw so it uh, really saved me a buck because otherwise I could have tear, uh, broke my power card, power supply card. So try to see that before doing that. So please refer and uh, watch uh, YouTube videos for to understand what you are working with. So subscribe to my channel for the latest videos for any tech reviews or repairs and this was an easy repair. I hope you like this video.
So guys, I already showed you what's the issue and how we fixed it. And I also showed you how I reassembled the system completely, the whole assembly, one by one. I made few mistakes and I also corrected them off the camera. And you will easily find what I did. So I switched it on, as you can see here, it's showing no HDMI cable. So I'm giving a source. So we have, yeah, we have the source now, as you can see, completely, all colorful, and it's working flawlessly. All the buttons are working. And when you are doing a reassembly, please make sure to integrate these buttons properly so that they will be working properly. And uh, so that that's an easy fix. And I got a few scratches. They're not from my side. I gave this monitor to one of the repair shop. They did this. some tweaks and you could do it very easily thanks for watching my video subscribe to my channel for latest videos and more technical stuff how you can repair your stuff yourself because it's always do it yourself